good morning youtube make sure you hit that like button make sure you hit that subscribe button share the video come in this video i'm back with another video let's get listen i'm glad that i got this youtube channel because we get to talk about fundamentals we get to talk about listen traveling and, and how you would gather people have been coming in and saying you can the nba give you three steps the first step is to gather and, and then you get three nick shut up let me explain something if that's the case then and, then i should never play street ball again i should travel every time i play street ball and it, it, it goes to they trying to they trying to uh deflect blame and take up for the glorious king lebron james listen this is how it works, bro. In the hood, I, I've been traveling. My, I, I've been I've been playing basketball wrong dog, my whole life. I should have been traveling on the streets at 24 Hour Fitness in elementary and middle school and high school. You you play AAU elementary, middle school, high school to at the park in, in every neighborhood in every hood in America. You take three steps to travel. They call them travel. And if you want to, if you you're gonna cry about it, they're gonna say shoot for it. And if you keep crying about it, they burst the fucking travel. You keep doing it. They're gonna wanna beat you up. That's how you niggas ain't hood. Cause you gonna get beat up if you keep do, you do that shit LeBron James do. If you travel and say no, the NBA champion this, they gonna make you shoot for it every time. And if you don't want to get the ball, they gonna beat you up. That's how you know these niggas ain't hood. These niggas be saying the most stupidest shit. This this new generation, the most stupidest shit ever. I remember they used to call a crab travel. The crab when LeBron James crab used to come when he's the first time in Cleveland, they used to call it travel on him. They they hop step shit and then go back up. He would he would take he would hop step take another step and lay the ball up. No, you hop step and then you lay the ball. Then you get then you get off one leg. This is what you do. You take two steps, and then the third, the third one you fend the attempt, you go off one leg and lay the ball up. There's no such thing. There's no such thing as that you get three steps. The first step is, is gather. The third step is when you gather. The third step, you you pick the ball up, it's one, two. And on that third one, your left leg, one of them legs better go up in there. You can't three, you can't take three steps and then go back up on the fourth step. You go up on the third step. Let me break it down again. You get the ball, you run like you're a running back in the NFL. You're one, two, that third, that left leg or that right leg, whatever leg you go off of, the later ball up goes up. You don't get the luxury to take three steps and then the fourth one you gather and go up. It doesn't work that way. I'm sorry. I'm not sure. What y'all niggas hoop at? I know the NBA let them get away with it because it's the NBA. They want to sell tickets. They want people to, to, to get a lot of points and stats. They break records and all kind of stuff. That is not basketball. LeBron James has been doing this whole a lot of a lot of portion of his career, a whole a lot of portion of his career, and it's been wrong mostly all the time in his career. I'm not gonna sit back and let y'all lie. Y'all been sitting here L I N forever. Let's just be real. Y'all been lying this whole damn time to the American people. Y'all, y'all really, y'all, y'all. I don't understand how y'all think you can take three steps and then on the fourth and you can just gather and lay the ball up. It's one, two, that throw that right foot. If you left hand, it better. If you going to the right, the left side, you better be up or that left leg better go up on that third step. If you don't pick the ball up and lay it up on that third step, you're traveling. Period. End of discussion. Ain't nothing else to talk about. It ain't that hard to fight, figure out. You don't need to watch the NBA or know the context of the NBA rule to see that it's a trap. Go out there into every hood and park in every neighborhood and go hoop. Shit is ridiculous now. Anyway, tell me what y'all think about the, the, the NBA for years, years and years and decades, letting the burn that from traveling. Running niggas over and traveling the whole time. You can't make this shit up. This nigga been running niggas over for his for as far as you can remember and traveling as far as you can remember. Half of them damn points don't even come. If you take away all the traveling LeBron James did, half his points don't even come. Like half of them don't even come. So he really ain't passed a lot of niggas up on all time scoring because that's cheating. That's cheating. That is a clear advantage. Not to mention backhoe he been using. I ain't gonna you 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 can you can you can argue in, in the street that, but you can't dispute traveling. That is cheating. That's a clear advantage. Taking three steps. That's traveling. That's not that's not that's not basketball. That's football. That's football at its finest. Running with the ball. You see, you see little, little kids dribble better than LeBron James throughout his whole career. If you just gonna travel your way to the basket. That's why he don't get the proper respect. Real hoop niggas know. Real hoop niggas look at niggas' feet. We know niggas, we know when niggas travel. Nigga been traveling forever, fam. Alright? Now, I want y'all to. 
hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And if you not an idiot and you believe that taking three steps and then going up is traveling, then you're 100% right. If you leave, you get three steps and then you gather on the fourth step, you're an idiot. All right. Now, see you on the next one.